as once again Max Gibb and his incredible staff here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club has brought the Indian Relay Race back to Southern Alberta. The last time we were here was a beautiful Father's Day weekend, very successful weekend at that. Before we do anything, ladies and gentlemen, regarding the race, we have a cultural component as part, in partnership with the Rocky Mountain Turf Club, ladies and gentlemen, the Blackfoot Canadian Cultural Society is also bringing you the cultural components of this weekend. Today we're going to have a handful of dancers that will help us with the grand entry, as, as well as the Bad Eagle Brothers over there will be our drum group to bring in our grand entry. And at this time, I'm going to call upon our singing friends from the Begunny Nation to bring in our grand entry here on a beautiful afternoon as we celebrate the 141st anniversary of the sign-in of Treaty Number 7, a historic moment that brought the Southern Alberta communities together here of non-Native and Natives. Here we are, 141 years in a beautiful setting here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. We're going to bring in to song and dance, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick off Treaty 7 Day here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Okay, boys, whenever you're ready, let's bring in our dancers. Ha ha he! Ha he! Ha he! Cha! Ah ha hey, ha ha hey, cha! Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway with the grand entry here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club, the home of Bullies Entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, as they welcome you to a beautiful weekend at the track of Indian Relay, of powwow, of thoroughbred racing, ladies and gentlemen. The Treaty 7 community is well represented with the dancers in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman wearing the buckskin. He is a former jockey. A great horseman from the Blood Tribe, ladies and gentlemen. A former traditional dancer and currently wearing the war bonnet. And the buckskin outfit here, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Mr. Twister Tail Feathers. Behind him, well, beside him, ladies and gentlemen, you will see a young jingle dress dancer, Selena, Medicine Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, the man in the middle, wearing the Hudson Bay coat, ladies and gentlemen, is Don Bottle. Let's welcome in our great dancers here to the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Race fans, pay off these beautiful outfits. Pay off this beautiful song with your round of applause as we kick off this afternoon's festivities. Ha ha he, ha he cha. We honor your dancing style. Hoka, hoka. Grand Entry Style Dancing right here at the home of Bullies, the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Hey, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pay off your dancers. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, in Indian country, in any kind of event or gathering that we find ourselves at, whether it's a small family gathering or an extravagant event like the one we are witnessing this afternoon, we call upon one of our respected elders to give us our opening invocation. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to turn the microphone down to the floor to no stranger to the track 
here in Lusbridge, Alberta, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charlie Crochief to give us our invocation. Okay, Mitchell. Hello, my people. Am I glad to be here with you once again? As we all know, our prayers, our way of doing things, it's on the written. It had to come in from our chest, from the teachers of our elders. And I wish you all a happy day. Of course, we didn't see the sun, but again, we ask permission for a good year, asking the Creator to be here and have a good winter. So with that, each one of you, you have a few good words for today and pray alongside with me. I'm going to lead you off. And I said, my name is Owns Big Lodge. He bookkeeper. That is my, my Aboriginal name. Okay, with that, let's pray all together so we have a good winter and to meet here again in the following summer next year. Ayo Napi, Ayo Napi Natu, Ayo Saku Hatsit, Gatakina, Satakan, Kristitunta, Ayo Nokayo Kokitak, Ayo Kokanashoka, Kisanaki, Sitakaitaki, Oki Nakukuno, Chin and Nana Kamukumut, Nokukuka, Chin and Nana Ki, Ayo Nakuki Taki, Kichikuat. Kichikuachi, <laughs> Hogan <laughs> And and I can stop by Nansatan Christopher. Oh, Gaki Tama Panopo, Axet Stephen Kitisa. Oh, Gitama Stairs, Sopokita Pio Ashini, Napio Ashini. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, there, Mr. Crow Chief. At uh, this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call the president CEO of the Rocky Mountain Turf Club to give us an opening address. Ladies and gentlemen, a friend to the Indian community for many, many years, Mr. Max Gibb. It, we're thrilled to be here today. We're thrilled to have the Indian Relay Racing. We're thrilled that it's Treaty 7's anniversary, the Blackfoot Confederacy, and it's going to be an exciting and fun time, and we wish you all well. I'd, uh, I'd ask uh, uh, Mayor Chris Spearman to just say a few words and Maria Fitzpatrick representing the province of Alberta. Uh, but have a great day. It's Treaty 7 Day. We are on Blackfoot land and we're appreciative of that. Okay. I too would like to acknowledge that the city of Lethbridge is on the traditional lands of the Blackfoot people. Yeah. And this week we begin again our second year of reconciliation. 
So on Monday, we raise the reconciliation flag, and we will have two weeks of activities. This coming Monday, we will raise the Blackfoot flag at 5 o'clock, and the activities will continue right through to September the 30th, when we will have Orange Shirt Day. But during Reconciliation Week, we're responding and reminding ourselves of our obligation to respond to the, the report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and to respond to the calls of action, calls to action. So the City of Lethbridge is doing that in collaboration with our Indigenous Advisory Committee and developing ways uh, to certainly overcome racism, homelessness, unemployment, and to create not only equal opportunity, but equal outcomes for people of all uh, backgrounds, including our Indigenous people. So we want to make sure that we work hard on those goals and we also celebrate together. So uh, reconciliation has begun in the city of Lethbridge on the lands of the Blackfoot people, and we want everyone to be part of that process. Thank you. Okay, I am honored to be invited here to bring greetings from our province today. I am privileged to be standing here on the Blackfoot territory. So I bring you greetings from our Premier, Rachel Notley, and from my government colleagues, and in particular from myself. Uh, I am thrilled. This is the first time I'll uh, actually get to watch the relay, so I'm very excited about that and uh, I'm happy to be uh, participating in uh, Treaty 7 uh, anniversary. So thank you for having me here. Thank you. Thank you very much there, Maria Fitzpatrick, Mayor Chris Spearman, and Max Gibb, Charlie Co-Chief, all those for helping us out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our main event here, heat number one. We have Team Bird Rattler. They're gonna be in box number one. They're wearing the black and yellow. They're going to be warriored by Preston Butterfly. Wearing the red is the BIS horses, Bruce Iron Shirt horses. Uh, Bruce Iron Shirt's quarter horses are here to run. They're going to be warriored by Travis McGuire. From the Sixaga Nation is Running Wolf. They're going to be wearing black and teal. And pretty young woman also from the Sixaga Nation wearing black, white, and silver will be our four teams running. Uh, Dwight Crazy Boy is going to be warrior in... Uh, the Running Wolf team and pretty young man, ladies and gentlemen, in box number four is going to be warriored by Tyler Leather. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the Indian Relay? Well, it is time for the Running Brave, ladies and gentlemen. Here come our warriors, our start man. Once again, will be from the Blood Tribe. Big Daddy Bruce Iron Shirt is going to be out there manning the start gate here. We're going to have a traditional mounted start. Our horses are going to line up there. They are going to go one time around the track. They are going to transfer on to their second bareback horse. They're going to go around the track one more time, transferring on to their third and their kick horses as they make the final lap around the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to wait any longer. We're getting ready to get a, as fair a start as we can here. Bird Rattler, BIS, Running Wolf, and Pretty Young Man. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're off and running. And it looks like the BIS horses have got the early lead, but it's Bird Rattler who's got the inside track right there as they're taking off, ladies and gentlemen, into the war party turn. Here they come around, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Bird Rattler team from Big Sky Country, Montana, ladies and gentlemen. And you see there wearing the teal. That is Running Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, running a second in second place. And behind them, you're going to find Pretty Young Man with the black, white, and silver, as it would say here. Bird Rattler has still got the lead. We're going to go into turn number one as they come around the teepee turn and down the home fire stretch, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to have a good transfer right here. This is where the money is won and lost, ladies and gentlemen. You want to get in slick and out quick. Here we come, ladies and gentlemen. It is the heel, the teal horse in box number three, Running Wolf. Running Wolf right there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We got a little bit of chaos going right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is what can happen. And it's box number four in the Six of God Nation have made the run out here. And look at Tyler Leather is way out in front. Bird Rattler had a tough exchange. 
Travis McGuire and BIS Horses is right there as we go around the war party turn. Here we go. Our leader is going down the moccasin flats of the back stretch here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. He is way out in front. Box number three, Running Wolf, is looking like the good money right here. But you saw what happened in transfer number one. You never know until it is done, ladies and gentlemen. Bird Rattler is really, really trying to pick up some steam here. Preston Butterfly is moving as fast as he can, but here comes pretty young man, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, Running Wolf. Box number three, he's gonna hug the rail. He's gonna come right in for his final transfer right here. Oh, excuse me, that's box number four. Pretty young man right there and going. There you go, pretty young man. They're on their way. Tyler Leather, ladies and gentlemen, is way out in front. But here comes Bird Rattler. Bird Rattler has something to say about it. He's got about a quarter of a track lead right here, ladies and gentlemen. Our front runner comes to us from the Sixaga Nation. Over there on the Trans-Canada Highway, the North Blackfoot are way out in front on the final lap of three, ladies and gentlemen. It is looking like the runaway. It is looking like a runaway, ladies and gentlemen, pretty young man, followed by Bird Rattler. Going back here, we got a duel for third and fourth, ladies and gentlemen, between Running Wolf and BIS Horses. But ladies and gentlemen, let's cheer on our warrior. Here comes Tyler Leather from the Sixaga Nation down the home fire stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your winner of heat number one, Paramutual Bed and Style Indian Relay Race. And there comes the team from Montana, the Bird Rattlers. Pretty young man, way out there. Let's look at their odds. They were the heavy underdog with a seven and three old. They're following in, coming here with box number threes, Running Wolf and BIS horses training out the rear here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of the Indian relays? Heat number one, we had a lot of action down there in the transfer boxes, and that's how you get it done. If you can get in quick and get out slick, then you're going to have yourself a chance at winning. We'll have those official results to you as soon as possible right now. Those are unofficial with Pretty Young Man in first, Bird Rattler second, I believe it was uh, Running Wolf and then BIS Horses. Those are unofficial here. We will be going with heat number two momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get our horses into the test barn. Those of you who are unfamiliar with how we run our paramutual, the top, the three horses that win the race will go into the test barn to test for uh, any performance enhancing um, substitutes that may have been used, but usually it is not the case, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good race right there. Well, four, one, three, two, our unofficial finish. Finishing numbers, 4132, unofficial. Unofficial, I will have the official results to you momentarily. While we're doing that, let's set up race number two. We have a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. Three of the premier teams in Indian Relay Country. Six Siga is going to be represented in box number one by Team Old Sun. The team from the south camp of Six Siga always brings the fast horses to the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. They're going to be warriored by Cody Big Tobacco. They're going to be running Painted Honey, Super King J, and Grand Mixer. TK Farriers out of Mr. Wasis, Saskatchewan, ladies and gentlemen, representing the Cree Nation. They're going to be wearing bright green and orange today, ladies and gentlemen. Calum Sand is going to be your warrior. They're going to be riding Vest Cat. Patago and Cabresi will be their four horses that they have in their rotation. Representing the Star School Relay, ladies and gentlemen, here are the 2016 or 2017 Gold Cup champions out of Brown and Montana. They come from the Star School area representing the Blackfeet Nation, and they will be wearing their familiar teal. And Andy Whiteman once again returns to the Rocky Mountain Turf Club, and they're going to be running Cinch Me Up, Cat Mon Blue and all about the action. So get your money down. It could be anybody's game right here, ladies and gentlemen. Make your bets and get them ready. I will have an official result for you as soon as I get them, ladies and gentlemen. But as it stands right now, 
Pretty young man out of six uh, running Dan Danny. While I was away, Private Joshua G and Cool Bullet had the quick exchanges and were able to get to the wire first. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a a results have come official. Ladies and gentlemen, we did have a DQ, but the new official results are pretty young man. The winner of the race out of the Six of God Nation, horse number four, or box number four, was your race winner. And in second place was one out of box number one, I believe, Bird Radler finished. What? Okay, so four box, one box, two box, three box, right? All right. In second place was out of the one box, the team out of Brown and Montana, Bird Radler, at Bird Radler's team running second today. And in third place was BIS Horses, Bruce Iron Shirt Horses out of the Kainai. They were wearing red. They will be officially in third. And ladies and gentlemen, due to a disqualification, Running Wolf was bumped out of uh, their position, and they are now sitting third. So 4-1-2-3 are your official results for heat number one of the Indian Relay. Stand by. We are... about 10 minutes away from heat number two as we'll start bringing the horses onto the track as we get a quick uh, track resurfacing and then we are going to go into our next heat representing the Six of God Nation will be Old Sun in box number one. TK Ferrier out of Mr. Wasis, Saskatchewan will be in box number two and star school out of um, scapa Gunny or the blackfeet nation in brown and montana will be in the third box buffalo runners on your program is a scratch ladies and gentlemen buffalo runners are a scratch but we will be going momentarily we will be getting our horses onto the track Ladies and gentlemen, we're asking those of you who are going to stand on the rail during the Indian Relay for your own safety to uh, keep yourself a foot away from the rail right there. We have some unpredictable animals that are down there, and there is a lot of high traffic that is going through there. So please uh, refrain from leaning on the rails. Keep yourselves at least one foot away from the rail. Get your money down on Old Sun TK Farrier or Star School in a win-only pool for heat number two of the Indian Relay. When we get the horses onto the track, I will begin the introduction. They're off. 
Not a bad start there. On the inside, a little Lottie is out well up alongside of that. You've got Cosmic Dreams right up there as well. Good humor girl trailing in the early going, Rosilla. As the horses come in front of the grandstand for the first time, Little Lottie on the lead on the inside. Second place, Good Humor Girl. In third, Cosmic Dreams trailing is Rosilla. Around the first turn they go, tightly packed up front. Little Lottie on the inside, on the outside, Good Humor Girl. In third place, you've got Cosmic Dreams and trailing is Rosilla. Into the straightaway they go and Nicholas Patrick and Lily Lottie looking good right now. Two lengths back from there to Good Humor Girl. Now coming with some run as well. It's Cosmic Dreams from off the pace. Six, seven lengths back to Rosilla. Up front into the final turn. Lil Lottie continues to roll along. Company starting to come though. You've got both Cosmic Dreams and Good Humor Girl right there. Going to take a shot coming down the stretch. And around that final turn they come. And down the stretch comes Lily Lottie with the lead. On the outside Cosmic Dreams hoping to mount a rally. But as they come to the wire, this one belongs to a little Lottie. Close for a second, very close for a second. One and a photo for a second. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race one, number one, Little Lottie, written to victory by Nicholas Patrick, Lori Whitecalf owns Russell Garrity trains. And here are your prices. Number one, Little Lottie, 340 win, 250 place, 210 show. Number three, Cosmic Dreams, 510 place, 230 to show. And number five, Good Humor Girl, 210 to show. $2 exactor, $31.90, $2 try, $19.30. And there was a claim in that first race. The winner, number one, Little Lottie, was claimed by owner trainer Ellen Brown. That's number one, Little Lottie. Claimed by owner trainer Ellen Brown.
Testing one, two. Testing one, two. One, two, test. Testing one, two. And at this time, we'll go through the rest of the changes on the day with you. In race number five, the five horse Sweet River Dream is a scratch. This race five, number five, Sweet River Dream is a scratch. And turning to race eight, number three, Talk the Walk is a scratch. Race eight, number three, Talk the Walk is a scratch. And those are the changes so far. We'll keep you posted. Good luck. Testing one, two. Leading things off, Nicholas Patrick on number one, Mighty Bear. Triple Six Ranch owns Russell Gardepi Trains. Number two, Jonathan Starr, written by Juan Gonzalez. Sean Bird, Rutler owns and trains. Number three, Tom Rycroft uh, is your owner. Bob Guillaum Trains, St. Warlock. Juan Apango on board. Number four, Forever Man, written by Andrew Wright. Harlan Bird, Rutler owns and Bert Rutler Trains. Number five is Awesome T, Lara Sellin on board. Norm Bowden owns and trains. And number six, PR's Orphan, Jim DePew owns and trains, Trevor Simpson rides. There is your field of six. We're going to post at eight minutes, eight minutes to post.
Everybody's in now except for number six, PR's Orphan. PR's Orphan is the last one to load. PR is Orphan somewhat reluctant. Let's see how this goes. And PR is Orphan is in, and we are at the post for race four. And uh, they're off on the inside. Mighty Bear right up alongside of that Jonathan Starr. Tightly packed group in the center here. You've got St. Warlock along now moving out. Awesome T, and on the outside of that, PR is Orphan. Compact group of six here as they come in front of the grandstand for the first time, four abreast. On the outside, PR is Orphan. Inside from that, you've got Awesome T. On the rail, Muddy Bear shuffle back there was Jonathan Starr. And back from that, you've got St. Warlock along with Forever Man. Into the straightaway they go, up front with the lead on the inside. Muddy Bear cruising along nicely. Awesome T in between horses. On the outside, PR is Orphan looking dangerous. Now St. Warlock starting to come with some run. And back from there is Forever Man and trailing is Jonathan Starr. Around that final turn they come, it is Awesome T battling it out with PR's Orphan. St. Warlock now coming on the outside looking dangerous on the inside. Muddy Bear on that final turn they come. And on the stretch, Awesome T with the lead on the outside. It's PR's Orphan. PR's Orphan and Awesome T battling it out. At the wire is close. It looks like Awesome T picks up his second victory of the year. And we'll say congratulations to the winning Connections in race four, number five, Awesome T. Ridden to victory by Laris Ella Normboat, Nose and Trains. And here are your prices. Awesome T pays 520 win, 260 plays, 240 show. And second, number six, PR is Orphan, 390 plays, 240 show. Number three, St. Warlock, 210 to show. $2 exactor, $10.10. $2 try, $47 even. $1 super fact, $159.25. And looking ahead to race five, there's one scratch. Scratch number five, Sweet River Dream. That's the upcoming fifth. Scratch number five, Sweet River Dream. And, of course, race four was dedicated to Art Calling Last, one of the greats from racing in the past here in southern Alberta, Art Calling Last.
And thank you so much. There is the Call of the Pulse, race number five, the Dawn No Runner race. Mixed allowance, five and a half furlongs, exactor, triactor, super factor wagering. Phillies and mares, three year olds and up, nine winners of two. Lifetime. Leading things off, number one is 10th Tiger, Juan Gonzalez on board. Memory McCracken owns and trains. <laughs> and number three is Puerto Rican Queen, Nicholas Patrick Rice, Colleen O'Hagan owns, Russell Garda, your trainer. Number four, Sash Reba, Rocky Mountain Turf Club Stables Zone, Lyle Magnuson Trains, Laris Allen Rides. Five is a scratch, and number six is Fall Girl, ridden by Juana Pango, Ed Acker Simones, Bob Gwillem, your trainer. Number seven, she should be dancing, Oral Bennett Rides, Chris Mike Owens, Lee Mandays Trains, and number two, Awesome, again and again, Blanford Stewart in the Irons, John Hollerwish Owens, Nelly Pijo Trains. There is your abbreviated field of six, and they're going to post in four minutes, four minutes to post. It's waiting on number three now, Puerto Rican Queen, and we're good to go. Puerto Rican Queen is in. We are loaded and at the post. A little fractious there for Sash Reba. And uh, they're off. A bit of an awkward step for 10th Tiger coming out. Now recovered nicely. Moving up fast. Awesome again and again, along with Puerto Rican Queen. Outside from there is Sash Reba. Outside of that, you've got Fall Girl. And back from there now, 10th Tiger along with she should be dancing in front of the grandstand for the first time on the inside. Awesome again and again. Right there alongside Puerto Rican Queen. Out from there is Sash Reba. And now Sash Reba comes back into fourth on the far outside. Fall Girl in third. Back into fifth now it's 10th Tiger. And back from there she should be dancing. Into the straightaway they go. Awesome again and again. And Blanford Street with the lead. But right there Puerto Rican Queen and Nicholas Patrick not letting them get away. Inside third for Sash Reba on the outside. Fall Girl now starts to mount a rally. And back from that you've got 10th Tiger in trailing as she should be dancing. Up front with the lead it is awesome. Again and again cruising along nicely now. And coming down the stretch it is awesome again and again. Fall Girl from off the pace along with Puerto Rican Queen on the inside. A late run from 10th Tiger, but at the wire, this one belongs to Awesome again and again. Looked like Fall Girl hung on for second photo. And we'll say congratulations to the winning Connections in race five, number two, awesome again and again. Written to victory by Blanford Stewart, John Hollerwich owns, Nelly Pijo trains. On the board, 2614, the unofficial top four, 2614.
Here are your prices. Number two, awesome again and again. Four dollars win. Three ten place. Two thirty show. Seventy three dollars and twenty cents to place on number six, Fall Girl. Wow. Three fifty show. Number one, Tenth Tiger. Four dollars to show. One dollar super factor. Four hundred fifty one dollars and sixty five cents. Two dollar daily double. Seven twenty. Two dollar tri actor. Two hundred ninety six dollars and thirty cents. Some nice payouts there. Thanks to Fall Girl. Number five, Gin Will Make You Sin, written by Alaris Allen, Jacqueline Smith, owns and trains, and rounding things out. Number six, Classy Vintage, Oral Bennett has that riding assignment, Barnett and Ranch's own, Les Adams trains. There is your field of six, going to post in six minutes, six minutes to post. And the horses are now loading for race six. Field of six getting set. They are at the post. And uh, they're off in a slow start there for Nigon Road. Got caught up on the gate, it looked like. Up front now, Blazing Temper comes out with some early speed. Far outside for Classy Vintage. In between horses, Zara Star tucked back and forth. I got a deal, and it is. Jin will make you sin and trilling after that bad start. Nigon Road up front 
On the inside, Zara Star. On the outside, Classy Vintage. These two have locked up. Two lengths back from there to Blazing Temper on the inside. Four lengths back from that to I Got a Deal along with Jin Will Make You Sin and Trilling is Nigon Road. Into the straightaway they go with the lead. Zara Star on the outside, Classy Vintage. Blazing Temper now looking like he's got some run to give. Out from there, Jin Will Make You Sin and looking like live as well. And back from that, I Got a Deal. So Trilling is Nigon Road. Up front, the battle is on. On the inside, it is our star on the outside. Classy Vintage now taking the overland route. Jin will make you sin. Sweeps wide. Blazing Temper going to try to come up the rail. This should be a finish. Down the stretch they come. On the inside now. Blazing Temper has taken over. Late rally from other horses, but it doesn't matter. Blazing Temper in a photo for second. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections. Number two, Blazing Temper, ridden to victory by Blanford Stewart. Mason Bassett, Pete Dubois owned. Pete Dubois is your trainer, 2365. Your top four, that is a match made in heaven. Blazing Temper and Blanford Stewart, boy, those two get along. And once again, don't forget when live racing is done here, there are three more ex exhibition Indian relay races. So stick around for those very entertaining stuff. And race six was the Ed Caffrobe race.
In a moment, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go into the final demonstration dancing of the afternoon. Um, we have the official results coming in right now for a race. Uh, the previous race, I believe, was race number six. Okay, I believe we have gone official here. We're going to begin our dance demonstration. We are going to call forward Selena Medicine Shield. Uh, she is a Shikaki, meaning she is a lady from uh, the Shikaki Nation. Uh, it is in the Trans-Canada Highway, about 40 miles outside of Calgary, Alberta, is where you'll find the home of the Shikaki Nation. They are part of the Blackfoot Confederacy. And the style that she is going to be dancing this afternoon is called the Jingle Dress Style. It comes to us from the uh, Ojibwe people. Around the turn of the 20th century or 1900, uh, there was an elder who uh, came from one of the bands um, out there in the Great Lakes area. And uh, she had a dream. Um, her people were sick at that time. And um, she was directed to make a dress that was originally made out of acorns. But you fast forward 130 years or so, and uh, this is the style of dress that many of the young ladies are wearing in this uh, era. Uh, so we're going to go and see Selena and her jingle dress dancing style. Two starts as we go to our drum group. North Stone is our drum group. Here we go. Take it away. Jingle dress time. Ah ha ha. Ah ha. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Selena Medicine Shield. Beautiful young lady from the Six of God Nation dancing the jingle dress style. Our next dancer, ladies and gentlemen, is a gentleman that we call Twister. Mr. Twister Tail Feathers here will be dancing the buckskin style. This is... Uh, the men's war bonnet, the men's buckskin, as you see the head regalia that Twister is wearing, comes to us, uh, was transferred into the Blackfoot people by Sidden Bull himself back after the Battle of Little Bighorn, or the Battle at the Greasy Grass is what the Indians call it. Um, as uh, Sidden Bull was seeking refuge on his way north here into Canada, he at the, he at the time camped outside of the Blackfoot uh, Sundance out here, and um, at that time, transferred our uh, war bonnet and as well as the drums that we sing on, the big drums. Before then, we used smaller drums like we use in some of our ceremonies. But at that time, the big drum was transferred to the Blackfoot or the Blood Tribe. And uh, we've had the rights to wear this style of headdress and transfer it in the way that Sidden Bull had shown us back in that day. And also, there are certain songs that go with uh, the headdress transfers that we call them. I myself was transferred into the Headdress Society in 07, and I'm a war bonnet holder along with Twister here. So we're going to see my friend here, who used to also be a great jockey in his younger days. No stranger to the track, ladies and gentlemen, our next exhibition dancer, Twister Tailfeathers.
Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, our exhibition style men's buckskin dancer, Twister Tail Feathers. Fry bread is for sale over there. If you've never had it, go give it a try. It is awesome stuff, especially when it's hot. Also, Indian tacos are for sale. Uh, there's some, I believe, some uh, choke cherry stew or berry stew that is also available somewhere along the concourse here. So. Treat yourself to a little bit of Indian cuisine as we celebrate Treaty 7 Day. 141 years ago, the people of the Blackfoot Confederacy, mo uh, most namely in, on this side of the Canadian border, Siksaga, Gana, and Pigani, along with uh, uh, Sarsi and uh, Morley, signed into treaty with the Crown of England 141 years ago on this day at historical Blackfoot Crossing. And we are celebrating this uh, historic occasion with a uh, little bit of our own flavor of style of dance and our Indian Relay Race Chief and Warrior Races as well be taking place today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is a traditional style dancer, Mr. Don Bottle. Go. Oh, we'll sneak him up, sneak him up. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Don Bottle and the rest of our dance demonstration, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we're going to have a whole bunch more dancers. Unfortunately, uh, the Kanai Board of Education has a powwow that is going on as they celebrate 30 years of control of our own education out there at the Kanai High School. Tomorrow, we'll have a lot more of our demonstration dancers. I'd like to thank the North Stone Drum Group for being with us this afternoon. Uh, Don, Selena, and Twister for all of their dancing style. Enjoy the rest of the thoroughbred racing. We do have some Indian relay racing to continue on. At the end of the program, we're going to have our Chiefs race and our Warrior race, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Russell Red Crow, and I will see you in a few moments. Back to the tower for the race call. Thank you, Russell. Here are the horses for race number seven in the Morris McDougal race. Number one is Uncle Mo Money, Blanford Stewart, the rider, Bill Virginello, Darcy Peterson, Gary Marks Trains. Number two, Sold at Ascra, 
Juan Gonzalez, the jock. George Bird owns Rusty Smith Trains. Number three is Stop Short. Juana Pango rides. Blake and Nikolai from Rade Zone. Ellen Brown trains. Number four, Maybach. Michelle Poitras owns. Michael Rowe trains. Laris L on the jock. Number five is Who Yara of Fleet. And Dwight Lewis rides. Leo Pretty Young Man owns. Kevin Crow Chief trains. And number six, Taking a Dip. Lee Adamson owns. Calvin Stranquist trains. Andrew Wright, the rider. Number seven, Pacific Tsunami, written by Nicholas Patrick. Roy Ann owns and Russell Garlippy trains. That is your field of seven for the upcoming seventh race, the Morris McDougall race. Four minutes to post, four minutes to post for the Morris McDougall race. Seconds away now. In the Morris McDougall race. And just waiting now on number seven, Pacific Tsunami, and we're good to go. Also Maybach coming in the four hole. And it looks like we're loaded at the post, and they're off. Out with the early speed, taking a dip right inside of that. Stop short. Far outside now, Pacific Tsunami re-rallies and gets out front in second. Stop short. Third place on the inside, sold to Nascar out there as well as Maybach. Then you've got Uncle Mo Money, followed by Taking a Dip, and back from there, who you are, a fleet. Up front now, Pacific Tsunami got out to the front and has taken over the lead. In second place, stop short. Back from there, you've got Maybach on the inside of that, sold to Nascar, and on the outside, Uncle Mo Money, a half mile to run now on Pacific, Pacific Tsunami, looking strong in second Stop short on the outside, third Uncle Bull Money on the inside, sold to Nascra. Out from there, you've got Maybach. Further back from that, it is uh, taking a dip and trailing the field. Who you are, a fleet. Into the straight away they go in Pacific Tsunami. Nicholas Patrick have looked strong all the way. A quarter mile to go now. He separated himself by two and a half lengths over stop short. Four more lengths back from there, Uncle Mo Money. Back from that, it is sold to Nascra, followed by Maybach. Then you've got uh, taking a dip and trailing is who you are a fleet. Now Pacific Sun is going to try to hang on. It's stopped short. is starting to make a rally around that final turn and down the stretch of Pacific Sun. trying to hang on. Stop short now coming with some run. Stop short trying to close up some ground. Pacific Sun trying to hang on. Half a wire Pacific Tsunami. 7-3 your top two. Looking ahead to race number eight, number three, Talk the Walk is a Scratch, the upcoming eighth race, number three, Talk the Walk is a Scratch. And just a reminder, as soon as that race is over, we have more of the Indian racing up, some great stuff coming up yet, so don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss any of this.
Now we have your attention, there's a Ford Black F-350 parked in the playground area where the ambulance comes out. You're going to have to move your truck. That's a Ford F-350 in the playground area. It's parked where the ambulance has to get out, so you're going to have to move your truck or it will be towed. Thank you.